Hey, if I could have everyone's attention, please, we'll go ahead and get started. And um, first of all, my name's Daryl Damastis, Coach D. I'm the athletic director here, and it's, uh, it's always an honor and a privilege to have our student athletes to go to the next level to participate and to play, and we're excited for all of them. And uh, we have six that are signing today, I think three that signed earlier, and we've got several that's still trying to decide where they want to go. So we have a really good class going out, and we appreciate their hard work while, they're here, while they were here, and we know that they're going to make us proud in the next phase where they're going to. So if we could, could we give all these athletes a big round of applause? Yeah. We are excited for them. So now we'll go ahead and let Coach uh, Foster come ahead and uh, get us started. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you for all the uh, families and young men and, and uh, for teachers and administration for, for being here today. Um, you know, first, first, young men, I want to congratulate you guys on an incredible football season. Uh, an incredible journey that we had this year. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for all the families that, in the community that sacrificed their time and energy and effort to, to make it happen through a pandemic and, and through all, all kind of um, different forms of adversity. Thank you for, for staying true to the course and, and for investing in our young men. Um, it's, the, it's the greatest investment that you can make. So uh, thank you for an incredible season and I appreciate everybody being here today. Um, real quick, you know, the, these young men, I want to remind you before we move on into to the celebration, the, the goal is not uh, to get to this day. The goal is not to get to this day. The goal is not to have a sign of day. The goal is to have a graduation day and to use this opportunity to transform your life, your children's life, your grandchildren's life. All right, so, so take this and enjoy it, but realize this is just the next step in the journey. Right. And so, again, I want to have an even bigger celebration and be able to come and hug your neck and, and be sitting out where you are watching you walk across that stage one day. That's what it's all about. So. <laughs> so, uh, you know, keep keep that in mind. Enjoy it today. But remember that the goal is, is to have a graduation day. I'm proud of you. I love you. Um, you guys uh, mean the world to me, and I I'm thankful to, to be a small part of your life and thankful to be uh, a part of this journey. Uh, today we have six young men that are signing. Coach, Coach D said it. Uh, we had three earlier, and we got a handful of guys. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of guys that I believe you'll see in the newspaper in, in the coming days, and that's a credit to their hard work, a credit to their families for investing in them, and a credit to their job, to the work that they did in, in the school building and handling their academics, uh, which comes first. I couldn't be more proud of the, the students that they are beyond um, you know, their athletic gifts. So again, congratulations to them for handling their business in the classroom. Today we're going to start uh, with Clayton Long. Clayton, come on up. Uh, just a little bit about Clayton. Uh, Clayton came to us this year and, and couldn't have asked uh, for a greater young man to be a part of our program. Just a great smile every day, uh, hardworking, uh, 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 the, the ideal teammate. Uh, serve, his, serve his team, uh, became a leader on our team very quickly because of his servant attitude and servant heart. Uh, just an incredibly hard worker and a joy to be around. Uh, the kind of guy that, that you want on your team. Um, through through whatever it is that you're facing. Just couldn't be more proud of him. An outstanding student, also a great track athlete. I know you're going to see great things uh, from him in time to come. So mom and dad, family, after you get a picture of just with him, if all of you will come up, we'll take some pictures together. Oh, 
You good? <laughs> you good, Randy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, won't we do that? And then they can take their time. Hey, hey. Any, any other family pictures? Yeah. 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 Right now, any other family pictures? We'll hold off and do teammate and group pictures there at the end with everybody. But any other family pictures, uh, you can go ahead and knock them out at this time. All right, next we're going to uh, recognize Kobe Benham. Yes, Come on down, Kobe. Kobe's going to be signing with uh, Marist College. Uh, Kobe is another guy, a selfless teammate. Uh, he really came into the program, uh, wanted to be a wide receiver. We made him play safety anyways. Uh, and I just found out earlier this morning that he was voted first team uh, from the GACA North team, All-State team. Kobe Benham was first team All-State safety. Uh, congratulations to him on that accomplishment. Yes, sir. Uh, again, uh, a relentless worker, a great young man, great student, uh, everything that, that you could ask in a young man. Um, he's a great teammate. You couldn't ask for better behavior in, in, the, in the hallway. I just... Got a big smile all the time. I uh, just, just really enjoy his heart and his hard work and, and proud to see all of his hard work come to fruition. And uh, he's going to do great things with himself. I think his best football is still out ahead of him. You're going to see big things from Kobe Benham at the next level. Family, if you'll come on down. Next, we'll recognize Gavin Garros. Gavin, Gavin's going to be shine, signing with Shorter University uh, right down the road. We're excited about that opportunity to get to go see him play. And Gavin is a guy uh, that really got the, the most uh, out of his body every day in the weight room. 
Um, it took every, every part of the game serious, his nutrition. I really saw him, him make a, a change in his nutrition in the last year and see it pay off for him, to see him gain some weight and, and, and to really have an awesome senior year. Uh, again, just a young man that poured everything he had into the program, uh, and it's a better place for his time spent here. Couldn't, couldn't appreciate him more, and just, just very proud of him and excited to see him continue in his career. And, um, you know, Gavin, Gavin loved it. That's the thing I can say about him. It was important to him every day. Uh, he even flipped a truck trying to get here uh, to practice on time. <laughs> two trucks, two trucks, trying, trying to get to practice on time. Uh, he was going to be late and didn't want to get in trouble. Uh, but, but, again, just, just a relentless worker, relentless worker, a young man that, that poured his heart and soul into every, every piece of it in that weight room every day. And, and I'll say this about him. The seniors don't have, they don't have to work anymore. Uh, and this young man continues to, to lift every day when he doesn't have to and to continue to encourage the younger guys when he doesn't have to. That's, that's a legacy that's going to outlive his time here. That's something that makes me incredibly proud and, and, and leaves an impression on me. It makes me better as a coach to see a guy that loves it enough that when his time is done, he's still pouring into that next group. And I, I think you see that from a lot of our seniors, but I see it from him every day. He lives that, that legacy every day. It's important to him to see what that next group does and, and invest in that next group. Uh, so, again, he's a young man uh, that I'm very, very proud of. Family, if you'll come join us at this time. Next, we're going to recognize Manny Hayes. Manny is going to be signed with Missouri Western State University. Um, I'll wait for him to get up here. He's got enough personality for all of us. All right, Manny played defensive end for us uh, and, and is a guy that's, that's really been a two, two and a half year starter. Uh, even as a young guy, he's a guy that we can plug and play in some, some situations uh, and, and just every year got better and better. And this year as a senior, really, really rounded out into a complete player for us. Uh, a guy that you could count on uh, every down, a guy that became a leader within his position group uh, and took charge of, of making those younger guys better. Uh, not just through his words, but by being consistent in his actions every day and to show those guys his growth and his maturity, I think really had a big impact on the entire team, but specifically within his position group. Uh, just a young man uh, that, that really has, has grown and matured physically, but also mentally, and, and a guy that, that loves it and was really playing his best football for us uh, this, this past year. So Manny Hayes, family, if you'll come down, we'd like to recognize you at this time.
teach and act like you know what you're doing, everything's good. <laughs> Next, we'd like to recognize Devin Luckett. Devin will be signing with Concord University. Devin was a two-year starter for us at guard um, and, a, and another young man that, that really grew into a leader on our football team. Uh, and it started within his position group just by his work ethic and, and his consistency every day and really spread and was infectious to the whole team. Uh, he was a guy every morning that I could count on, was rushing everybody out of the weight room. And I would like to think it was because it was really important to him. It might have been because uh, uh, we had to go run if, if we were late. Uh, so Devin took that on himself and made sure that we weren't going to be laid out in that weight room. And I, I, I missed that about him. He's got a big smile every day. Um, and, again, just, just another young man that's enjoyable to be around, that makes everybody's day better, a big smile, a hard worker, uh, a grinder on the football field. And, again, just, just an infectious attitude that made everybody around him better. Our football program is better for young men like Devin Luckett that served his teammates uh, and really invested in not only his success and our success as a team, but the success of his teammates moving forward. Again, just a tremendous legacy that he leaves as a student athlete. Uh, we'd like to recognize his family at this time. All right, next, Hayden Cagle. Yes, <laughs> Hayden Cagle will be signing with Barry College. All right, uh, a little bit about Hayden. Hayden started for us two years at tackle on the offensive line. Uh, and, and again, I get a little re repetitive, but that, that's a, a tribute to this senior class, uh, an incredibly hard worker um, every day. It, every, every aspect of it was important to Hayden. Uh, the nutrition, the, the supplements, the sleep, all of the above. A every piece of it was not lost on him. He understood what it was going to take to get the most out of his body. And uh, he laid that on the line for his, for his teammates every day. Every day his effort was not only going to get himself better, but it was going to make his teammates better, make his coaches better. You couldn't have a bad day as a coach uh, because you knew uh, Hayden and, and Devin and Gavin, those, those guys, they, they weren't going to have bad days. You couldn't go out there dragging because you knew that they were going to bring it every day. And, uh, again, they, they just challenged their teammates, challenged you as a coach, uh, and our program is in a better place because of their efforts, because of their uh, servanthood, 
And I just, just appreciate the way that this young man uh, led not only our football program, but uh, led our school in this, in this school building and then out in the community as well. He's an example of a young man that recognize, recognizes how powerful his voice is at a very young age and how impactful he can be. And again, uh, just, just not enough good things that I can say about him and all these seniors. Uh, I, I appreciate his leadership within his position group and within his team, our team. And uh, again, just, just incredibly humbled uh, to see his work ethic every day and to, to know his character and to know what he's about as a young man. And uh, it's going to serve him well in life far beyond football. We'd like to recognize his family at this time. All right, all six, all six of the signees, if you'll come up after we get a picture there, all six of the young men, if they'll come up, and then as soon as they get one, coaches, if we'll get uh, one with all the coaches and players that are signing, and then I'll close this and we'll open it up to any pictures families and friends would like to take. Competition. Coaches, if you'll come up, we can get one with all the coaches and players.
All right. All right, real quick, to close us out, uh, again, thank you families, thank you for uh, allowing us the opportunity to, to spend time with your young men, thank you for the sacrifices that you, you made to make this happen. Again, thank you, thank you families uh, for allowing us the opportunity to, to work with your young men. Thank you for the sacrifices you made. I, I know you guys have been driving them to training sessions and to, to gyms and to, uh, no telling what you spent on food uh, and you're going to continue to spend on food. Uh, but thank you. Thank you so much for your investment. Uh, I know I can't imagine how um, exciting it must be uh, to have this moment with your young men. And, and again, anything that they need moving forward, uh, they continue to be a part of our family. Uh, and my challenge to you young men is, is take all the things that you've learned and, and anywhere you go, make it a better place for your time here spent at Cartersville, your time in the football program. Take that purple and gold and make somebody else better uh, and continue to, to grow our program and, and leave a, a, a legacy uh, wherever it is that you go. So, again, thank you for all the young men. Thank you for all the mentors and families and, and everybody that invested in them. Enjoy it. But remember, the goal is, is to, to graduate. The goal is to graduate, not just to have this sign today. Enjoy today, but the goal is to, is to graduate uh, and change the, you know, your trajectory. So thank you so much uh, for all your time and for being here today. Thank you for, to our administration for, for working with us and allowing us to have this time. And uh, families, when we're done, I'm going to let you come up here and get whatever pictures you want with families and friends. When we're all done, uh, we'll cut these down, and you guys can take these banners home as well.